I'm gay! Oh, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Big Juicy channel. Today, we are doing the shelf tour. I've curated and selected all the objects from my shelf because everybody, for some reason, was asking for a shelf tour, which I don't, I don't get. It's just a bunch of garbage. But there's some story behind this garbage. Today, we're gonna be going over all these items and all the significance behind them and, and what they mean and stuff. And uh, there's some... There's some goodies in there. So welcome to the Big Juicy Collection. Is that what they call it? When it's like a bunch of art pieces? Welcome to the Big Juicy Gallery. I hear there's someone in that closet. He's not on the list. He's not on the shelf, he's in the closet. And no, it's not me. The first item on our list. Ketchup packet inside a bag. Oh, there it is. There it is, the, the ketchup packet inside a bag. So, there's a story behind this item and how it arrived on the Big Juicy shelf was um, one day I came downstairs in my house and found a ketchup packet inside a bag. And I said, who the f*** would do that? <laughs> Put a ketchup packet inside a bag. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. That's it. That's the whole story. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Item number two. The head of laser beam. There it is. I should be wearing gloves when I'm handling this stuff, but you know, it is what it is. The story behind this and how it ended up on the shelf was when I was going goblin mode in the basement of the click office for three months straight, laser beams, Fortnite skin came out and there was like a freaking billion laser beam cutouts in the office, right? So after the skin came out, they just shoved them all downstairs. They didn't get rid of them. They just shoved all the cutouts downstairs and it was like some weird fucking Star Wars clone army of laser beams downstairs. And I just ripped the head off of one because I wanted to take it home. It was just too good of an opportunity. And I knew I'd be the only person, probably ever in existence, who has this cutout of laser beams head. Take that in. It's one of one right here. Next item! Item number three. Um, ooh, this is a good one. Okay, this is one a lot of people are gonna recognize. A bag. <laughs> a bag of Bondi sand. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's actually illegal for me to take this. Um, but I don't think they caught it. Because you're not allowed to like transport like dirt and stuff. Because you might introduce like Australian microbes and shit like that. But anyways, this is a little bag of Bondi sand from the first video we did in Australia with the boys. The first IRL video. This is amazing. It's like, this shit isn't, this shit doesn't come free in the US, dude. It's like an all you can eat buffet, dude. Normally you gotta pay to eat this shit. Hey, what? What are you doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, can I feed you? Here, have some. <laughs> this is what I'm saying, dude. I thought this was all jokes. This is what he's really like. It's okay, come on here. You want something to put in your bag for later? Take yep, away, sorry. baby. Take away, here, I'll get it for you. Here you go. Who <laughs> kept the koala is? Take away, oh, baby. koala died for that. Hey, you got some dinner for tonight, there you go. Come check, check the contents. Look at that. Get in here. That's authentic Bondi beach sand. You can go back and look at the video, I scoop it out. The good stuff. The gross man. That is the good stuff. Ugh. Ugh. Ew. I'm working through it. Eating sand isn't easy. Item number four. Where'd it go? The keys to the Mazda from the first uh, boys demolition video, car demolition. This was the key to the victory vehicle during the dud ball, right here. That's right. The car that I got T-boned in, those three T-bones that forever changed the course of my life. What are you thinking, dude? What are you doing? What is wrong with this fucking guy? Oh, what you doing? Oh, what you doing? Oh, what you doing, dude? Ah, dude. Ah, ah. Oh, my fucking boy. 
fucking retard! No, 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 no. Dude! Your car looks like a banana! <gasps> we will win the wacky races! <laughs> it was this car right here, and I kept the key. Because Brendan didn't need it. He started it with, without the key. He didn't need it at all. But if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, boys Demolition. Demolition? No, it's Demo Derby. The Boys Demo Derby. It was an awesome video. Super great time. And yeah, I kept the keys. Next! <laughs> Guess what this item is? <laughs> no. It's my invisible hat. <laughs> One day I was sitting there and I thought, man, it'd be really funny it'd be if I had an invisible hat. <laughs> How funny would that be? I found an invisible hat. Yeah, anyways, next item. This is one that I've talked about a lot that you guys have heard about many times in the past. Item number six is my second place Brunswick Harbor City Bowling Bowling Trophy. From fifth to sixth grade, I, I was an esteemed member of the Brunswick Bowling community. I went to bowling club every Friday. And the year of sixth grade, whatever year that was, me and my team secured the second place trophy. It's a big year for me. Really set the course for the rest of my life. That's when I knew I was a winner. Not too much of a winner, because I only got second place, but, but it was, it was, I was a winner, all right? I was a fighter, I was a bowler. I knew in my heart I was supposed to bowl. And from the beginning, the moment I came out the womb, I was meant to, to run the lanes, you know? It's, it was a big day for me. It was a big day, and I'm gonna be back to secure first place. It's only a matter of time, but for now, it's kind of falling apart. <laughs> we have my second place bowling trophy. <laughs> Item number seven is this picture of our very own um, British basement dweller, Brit. Some of you know him as the truth knower. You're here to answer some questions. Under oath. The person running this mm. is the, the truth knower. Some say he's wanted by the CIA and he sleeps upside down like a bat, which I've witnessed. Watch, rub his head. I know him as my slave. <laughs> when I hired him, I printed out a picture of him, which I realize is kind of weird. It's a little bit weird. Can you imagine if you got hired at like Denny's and then your manager printed out a picture of you and put it in their, their bedroom, like first day? That's strange. That's odd behavior. How would you feel if someone did that? You start a new job and they print out a picture of you. See that's a picture of Brit! My favorite British person. <laughs> Just not saying much, but a lovely, lovely man. Lovely man. We love Brit. Item number eight. Now this one is one that none of you know anything about. Right here. This is Dead Series' album, Fetal Position. You're probably saying, my brother in Christ. Who in the frick is Dead Serious? That is my father's band. Way back in the day, my father was in a bunch of bands, but this was the main band that he was in, Dead Serious and uh, they made a bunch of cool music and shit. And this means a lot to me, he printed this out. It's not original because there probably isn't really many originals at all. Uh, but there's actually some old Instagram photos of me playing with them at shows and stuff. Super cool, super personal little item. Funny story. Behind this guy on the cover though, this little, this little curled up fella, um, he had fucked someone's girlfriend in the band. So they put him on the cover being Yeah. That's actually the guy who did it. They literally modeled it off of him and then sent it to him. So yeah, that's pretty fucking badass. Number nine, is this beautiful statue of a Mexican riding an armadillo? Carved out of wood, it says yee on the back. There's a Mexican man with a curly hat on an armadillo. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is extremely, this is a really racist depiction of a, a Mexican man. But I asked my Mexican friend if it was racist and he said no, so it's okay. Number 10 on the list. 
Speaking of Mexicans, my Team Gay helmet. Team Gay Gennetti is the esports team. Retired esports team at this point, but maybe one day we'll make a comeback. Of me and Eddie, back when we used to play Pogo Stuck, which was some of the worst fucking times of my life. Oh my God, juicy. Juicy. Oh my God, no! Juicy. <laughs> Dude. Oh. Come on, come on, come now. on. Oh, let's go, no, no, no. let's go, let's go! No, oh, yes, no, fuck! It's bad. It was really, really bad. I went through a lot then, but team gay, baby. Team gay all the way. Ah! One day we'll get the team back together. Don't you worry. Just, just stay put. Is that a real pogo stick back then? Yes. Yes, it is. That is actually the most expensive pogo stick in the world. It's, you have to pressurize it with air and it's capable of launching you up to 10 feet. So you could jump over this house with it if you wanted. And I've seen people do it. Want to see me use it? No. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> There's too much air in it. It won't even go down. <laughs> this isn't on the list. It's just fun. <laughs> Number 11 on the list is these just... They're on the shelf. You know what they are. They're fucking just these gay little brush plushes. Not this. Don't look at that. It's these gay little brush plushes. Um, these little shitheads. These little dweebs. These little nincompoops. These little morons. They're brush plushes. You know what they are. There's, you can't buy these anymore. And if you find any online, they're fake. And if you buy fake merch, uh, you're gay. And I'm going to rob you. Not because you're gay. It's not a hate crime. It's just, the gay was just, isn't it? Next item. <laughs> it's item 12, but it's an Apollo 11 patch. No story with this. It's just on the shelf. My dad got it for me. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's it. My dad gave it to me like a couple months ago and was like, this is cool. I have this. <laughs> and I was like, all right, thanks. I put it on my shelf because it's what I do. <laughs> item 13. Sand from Area 51. This is real sand that I bought out in the desert by Area 51. Uh, some of the most expensive sand I personally have ever bought. And I did eat some of this. I did eat some of this and uh, I'm not gonna eat it this time because no joke when I ate it, I started seeing black spots in my vision and I got really scared. So, <laughs> I was like in the back of like our rental car, like tweaking because I was seeing black spots. Everyone was like, okay, man. I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. And it was like, whoop, whoop. It's like, yeah, black spots. My vision from this, I think it's radioactive. It probably is. There's higher radioactivity in the Nevada desert from Area 51, but I'm sure I'm fine. Don't sniff that. <laughs> Don't sniff that. <laughs> Radioactive sand. Forbidden sand. The forbidden fruit. Item number 14. My first graphics card. This is the, like dead ass my first ever graphics card that I got when I was 11, I think. This is on the shelf. This is, I don't know how the fuck I've managed to hold on to this with how many times I've moved throughout my whole life, but I have. And it's a Gigabyte GV R5 45OC 51 2i, revision one. Yeah, it's just my first graphics card. This is when it all went downhill, right here. This is when my crippling addiction to Pop Tropica began. If you look in there, come get close. See that dust in there? That's ancient. If you eat that dust, that's probably dust from when I was like a, a little baby boy. You'd be eating dust from a miner. Yeah, you get in big trouble for that. Item number 15. Our sweet baby boy, Leonidas. Come here, Leonidas. Who's your daddy? <laughs> I, f I don't actually remember the origin of Leonidas, but I all I know is that one day I opened my door and there on my doorstep and a little basket was him. My little gift, my, my little joy, my blessing. Jesus hand delivered this little mutant to me. 
and uh, somehow he's become a staple of this fucking dumbass channel, and everyone knows who he is. I don't know why. Number sixteen. This is fucking laptop that got rubber banded. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the this is the laptop that me and Kevin did the Minecraft speedrun video in, and yeah, it's it's super super sick. I don't know why I kept it, but I did because I can't let go of things, so I just keep every little thing that I come into contact with. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out. But I actually cut the battery out of it because the battery, the lithium battery, which those things fucking just explode if they get ruptured, was like folded in half and ripped. So I, I did like a very careful surgical removal of this giant lithium ion battery from this thing. Yeah, super cool. I think. Um, rubber banded laptop. It doesn't work anymore. Number 17, mustard soda. This is by far the worst thing I've ever fucking tasted in my life. Lester's Fixins mustard soda. It, it tastes like Lester is just crouching over my mouth and so just taking a big old fat dookie straight into it. This is terrible. This is terrible. I do not recommend anyone try this, even as a joke, because it just tastes like vomit. You do the juicy! <laughs> Go watch Bad Soda Review. Mustard Soda. Number 18 is the mini wheel of pain. So this little wheel I kept because the first video me, Eddie, and narrator and Kevin ever filmed for the boys used this. Show me what you can do. All right, wheel spin number. I don't know what we're on, bro. So I've lost all sense of reality. Oh no! What's the mystery on the second wheel? Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know what the mystery is on the medium wheel? I know what the mystery is. Why do I not know what the mystery is? You oh actually do God. know what the mystery is because you're holding it. <laughs> no fucking way! <laughs> what is this little letter? <laughs> so on this tiny wheel, we got bruh, P9, ball, chip, has. So this only has the worst of the fucking worst. Like the shit that we haven't even gotten near. All right, spin the wheel. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Bruh. Dude, <laughs> that's P9 and bruh. What's bruh? What's bruh? What is bruh? Juicy, 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 where what is bruh? Going, bro? <laughs> Juicy, what the f are you? Juicy? <laughs> bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Number 19, just a koala photo. I took a picture with a fucking koala. Look how cool that is. Now, fun facts about koalas, they all have AIDS. So if you get scratched by one, you get fucking AIDS. You get <laughs> koala AIDS. And koala AIDS isn't curable and there's nothing you can do about it. So that's why they make you wear this crazy koala AID proof jacket. But I got to hold a koala and he felt like he had AIDS. He had like, the, you know what they say about people things with AIDS, they got the AIDS feel. Oh, that was almost it. Did you get that? That would have been so cool. Wait, Britt, cut it, show it. Cut it, show it, it's... Item number 20, wait. Item number 20, the fishing hat. This hat means a lot to me. I'll tell you why after I read it. Let any fish who meets my gaze learn the true meaning of fear. Meets you a what? The frick? Let any fish who meets my gaze <laughs> learn the true meaning of fear, for I am The bane of creatures is subaqueous. My longing is true and unwavering, as I cast into the aquatic abyss a man scorned by this uncaring earth finds solace in the sea. My only friend, the worm upon my hook. Wriggling, writhing, struggling to surmount the mortal pointlessness that permeates this barren world. I am alone. I am empty. And yet, I fish. 
What do you think about that? I think your rod actually does waver. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> this hat was given to me uh, the first time I met Max and Chad in Australia. Uh, super beautiful people, big old sweetie pies. But the first time I met them, I'd message Max on Twitter and I said, hey, you're all out of the long ass fish hat. Can you bring me one? And he brought a backpack and the only thing in the backpack was just the fish hat. Like he didn't bring anything else in the backpack. He brought a whole backpack just to bring the fish hat, which I thought was really funny. But that's the, the meaning of this hat. I also like to wear this in airports when I travel for boy shoots because I get the fucking craziest looks from everyone. Cool shirts, a fish hat, very cool. Number 21. So this little brush vinyl. Uh, in the same league as, as the other little dudes over there. You can't get this anymore. You'll never get one unless we make a new one. But this was when we did our initial release of a bunch of little brush thingies. And yeah, that's, that's it. It's the fucking, this little green guy. What do you want from me? There's no story there. You know the fucking, that's the only reason you people are here. It's because this fucking little single celled organism. But this is much cooler. Item number 22 is a vinyl of your very own Big Goosey. It's a vinyl made by someone on Instagram who has us also made a vinyl for you, right? Spaghetti Loops. Spaghetti Loops. We love Spaghetti Loops. Super awesome. They sent me two of these. My mom has one. And yeah, it's just an actual vinyl of me and it's really good and just fucking sick. So yeah, fucking plug Spaghetti Loops, Brit. Item number 23. What the fuck right. is that? Why are you pausing? <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, I broke off a piece. Oh. No! Item number no, item number twenty-three. There's a piece of wax with my armpit hair on it. This is from the uh, I think it's internet tells us <laughs> what to do for a day. It's not gross, it's my armpit hair. Just fing pull it down. Oh! <laughs> Just keep going. Ah! <laughs> All right, move your little finger. Move your little finger. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh that was almost one, it. Good one. Good one. Okay, ready? Yeah, ready? yeah, yeah. Move finger, move finger. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, I don't know. I just like I, I hold on to shit for no reason. Uh, it's literally my armpit hair that got waxed off, and I'm like, that's a keeper. <laughs> that's going on the shelf. <laughs> Item number twenty. It is Plutonium 9. Mad Dog's Plutonium 9. A lot of bad memories with this. Like too many to count. From the first time me and Kevin had it to moments later when my friend Andrew seized on the floor and I had to strip him down naked and put him in a cold shower. And he kept saying, hospital, hospital, call the ambulance. And we were like, huh? <laughs> no, nah, you'll be fine. What? No, oh, just breathe. Just keep breathing. <laughs> Uh, and then the same thing happened to me during the ramen video. So yeah, I'd... plutonium nine. Fun fact too, this is from my research, at least as of like six months ago, still the hottest thing you can buy that isn't lab chemicals. And yes, I did plan on doing a video with those said lab chemicals, but there's absolutely no way YouTube want to age restrict it. So yeah, sadly, it's probably never going to happen. Maybe for fun if I get bored one day, but there's only one thing that's hotter and it's not even that much hotter. This is about as bad as it gets. No. <sighs> you better stop. I already did. Oh my God. <laughs> That's good. I love Diet Dr. Pepper. Item number 27, the Diet Dr. Pepper. For the <laughs> Item number 25 is this narrator plush, very limited edition, very rare. This was a limited run that narrator did with a collaboration with some random ass fucking website where it's like, oh, if enough people buy it, then we'll make it. Which doesn't really make much sense to me. Don't quote me on that though. I don't remember if that's actually, I remember it being something weird like that. Anyways, mm, not a lot of people have this plush. And a fun fact about this plush, if you press the foot, he says slurs. 
Ready? I hate women. Yeah, this thing's badass. Uh, before Kevin even knew Narrator, he uh, took like 20 pictures of him putting his dick on this thing in various places, and then we sent them to him. So that was kind of Narrator's first impression of Kevin. 26 is this taco pinata that I bought for a boy's video. I bought this for a boy's video. My plan was to fill it with bugs and not tell anyone. So Eddie would hit it and then like, it would like, so I, <laughs> it was actually gonna be really funny. Here's how I wanted it to go. We hoist up the pinata, Eddie thinks it's filled with candy, smashes it, thousands of bugs fall out. And then I quietly crawl onto the ground and just start eating them. That was the plan, but we weren't able to get the bugs in time. Yeah, the taco pinata. <laughs> Number 27 on the big juicy list is this Russian nesting doll. This this little babushka lady. It's just, it just keeps going. Why is this on my shelf? My brother got it for me because uh, he thought I'd like it and I do like it. So I, but oh my God, look how tiny it gets. But yeah, that's it. It's just a, my brother got this for me and I thought it was cool. So I put it on my shelf. Number 28 is the Minion plush. This is from Narrator's Big Day Out. And when you press his foot, it says this. It's good. It's good. Oh, 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 Minion kind of thick, dude. Yo, Kevin's thick. Yeah, his name's Kevin. We named him Kevin. Because we're, because... It's just a, it's, that's it, that's it. We're really scraping the bottom of the barrel now, guys. There's, this is a hat that I wore at Disney in the boys video. It's item number 29. Brit roll a clip. <laughs> it's a hat. That's, that's it, but it's not invisible. So it's not nearly as cool. Number 30. To you, this might just look like some, uh, um, some pasta, but this is all actually a part of an elaborate birthday gift that I was given by my brother. He never gives me normal birthday gifts. It's always some sort of whole ass fucking thing. It's always a whole, like it's an event. So it started off with him handing me this. He said, happy birthday. Here's an Among Us plush. And I was like, whoa, cool. Thanks, man. I didn't love Among Us. Disguise Toast is my favorite. Fucking, what's his... Who's the other guy? The guy Kevin hates. M Mr. Beast? No, not Mr. Oh, no, no. So I was like, cool, thanks for the plushie. And then he said, okay, now put this on. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And then. Ah. The camera battery is on 69. So he handed me all this stuff and then like, you know, I put it all on and it's fucking us. <laughs> us. Item number 31 is the head of this mannequin. This mannequin has been in countless videos early days. Um, I don't know why I had a mannequin. I just thought it'd be cool to buy one. And she'd just sit in the background. And then one day, actually after my first trip to Australia, I came back. And she was broken to a million pieces. I'm guessing someone got drunk and like kicked it and it blew up like a fucking Lego Star Wars character or something. But all the other pieces are hidden around the house. And this is the head. We actually used this in a recent hot sauce video. I, I like to eat hot sauce off of the, the forehead. So yeah, that's the story behind that. That's on the shelf and sometimes in some, some videos, some videos. Item number 32. Is this tech deck that uh, someone came over to my house, probably one of my friends, and they left a tech deck here. And I'm like, hell yeah, I'm gonna put that on the shelf, you know? And y'all used to play with tech decks. You'd be in like the, the detention office and oh, sit there and do little, little tech deck tricks, you know? Nice little distraction before we had subway surfers. You're at grandma's funeral and they're reading the eulogy and you're just sitting there like, Grandma's dead, rip grandma. Urgh. Item number 33 means a lot to me. It's this vintage Trump doll. This vintage Trump doll was uh, actually my grandmother's before she passed away and she's literally had it since it came out. Yeah, that's like pretty much the only thing I have from her. 
<laughs> she just liked to collect stuff. She had Barbies. She had like, she just like dolls and she kept them all in the box. And she saw a Trump doll probably back when he was like, just that funny guy in Home Alone. <laughs> and then was like, that's awesome. Hell yeah. But yeah, this, this thing's awesome. You, you know, you can actually take his clothes off. You can fully unclothe them. What are you doing here? Go back, go back to your country. Look at this. You can fully unbutton and button his shirt. You can, you can unbutton his pants too. Oh, Mr. President. <laughs> and then you can, you can pull his little pants down and then you gotta put the batteries into his butt. <laughs> Who's grabbing who by the pussy now, Mr. President? Me moments before grabbing Donald Trump by the bussy. Item number 34. Is this goofy grape vinyl? What a fucking cursed, cursed item. This was sent to me by uh, her very own Smashing way back in the day when the goofy grape meme was first taken off. Um, if you're unfamiliar with that or what goofy grape is, goofy grape is an old character from a set of very, very uh, racist commercials. But they were like, like old racist. Like they, they probably didn't think they were being racist at the time. They're like, oh yeah, that's fine. The next item on our list is just a, a stack of my YouTube play buttons. They've just been sitting dusty, st literally stacked like this on that shelf over there for like, since I got them. I've never hung them up or done anything with them. We have uh, Juicy Fruit Snacks, 100,000. The Boys, 100,000. The Big Juicy, 100,000, which is actually pretty badly dented because I left it in my trunk for like three months. Um, after I got it and it just, yeah, it just got f***ed up, but <laughs> the boys One million And of course <sighs> The juicy fruit snacks one million I'll put them up somewhere when I got a good spot one day, but hi Momo Momo do something cool Thank you number 36 is memes in progress. One that you guys probably haven't noticed or aren't too familiar with, but this funny little cardboard sign right here, I actually made after my first VR video on my VR channel. It says memes in progress. It's got a little thing, a little blushy fella on it. And back when we lived in the E old trap house, I would hang this on my door so people knew to shut the fuck up. Hey Gage. So, I got you a little something. And I've kept it ever since. A little me me memento. Me 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 and that concludes the items that we have here, but we have a couple of extra items here. The art gallery section of, um, of this tour of my shelf. We have four items, starting with cow on the couch. This is just a cow on the couch. I acquired this piece um, at an auction at Walmart in aisle 13 for $9 because it was on sale. Um, because I thought it was cool. It's badass, this badass fucking cow just sitting on a couch. You know, that's badass, it's cool as fuck. Number 38, I would like to call Little Goosies. This picture that I got at Goodwill, still has the Goodwill sticker on it. Looks like a, I bought it for $4.98. That's a fucking steal. It is a fat fucking deal. I robbed Goodwill. Look at that. Is that cool? Is that cool, babe? I got this after my first trip to Australia. So it really spoke to me. Us art heads, um, sometimes you see a piece and it just screams out to you. It strikes a chord right in your heart. Uh, when I saw this, it brought me to my knees. I knew I had to have it. So I got it right then and there, no matter what the cost, even if that cost was $4.98 at Goodwill. Aha! It's just, this one's a good one. This. It's this fucking dumbass meme that I was obsessed with for like three months for no reason and no one thought it was funny. Everyone had to deal with me being a fucking retard and badgering on about this thing. I messaged everyone this picture and asked them to screenshot it. I have met YouTubers, gone to our DMs after they messaged me and realized that I messaged them a year ago with this picture saying, feel free to screenshot. This I bought, it cost me like 300 bucks. It was ridiculous how expensive this was. And uh, yeah, this is this is the fox. You guys know the fox, you love the fox. This fucker goes hard. Feel free to screenshot this right now. Did you get it? Did 
you get the screenshot? Very beautiful piece. But this next piece and the final piece in our exhibit, this is the eternal stare. I, I cannot ex preface this enough. I did not purchase this object. I did not buy this. I never paid for this. I never ordered this. I don't know how it got here. I really don't, I'm not kidding. I went through my bank statements. I bought that one, but I didn't buy it. I double checked, I triple checked. I don't know how I got it. I actually don't know. I never paid for this. It just showed up. Yeah, and it's like on actual canvas. Like it's really nice. I, I priced this, it was like three grand. That's why I didn't do it. Cause I'm like, that's a bit too far for the meme. Three grand, is, uh, that's a, USD is a bit much. But yeah, this is, it's my pride and joy right here. This here. That is all there is on my shelf worth mentioning, except one thing that I forgot to put on the list. It's this pair of Jojo Siwa headphones. Why? I can't remember. So yeah, you've made it to the end of the video. That was the whole shelf tour. And because you made it this far, I'm gonna give you a little bonus right here. So this I did find, this is half melted Beyblade. The reason this is so important is this was the most effort I've probably put into a video and you guys will never see it. You'll never see it. It was called the Salami Brothers, but it never turned out because the main camera SD card got corrupted when I went to export the footage, but since you made it this far, I think we should end the video by showing you guys what didn't get corrupted. This video was filmed right before my first trip to Australia, fucking ages ago, and uh, it was disgusting. It was like a full like acted out, like it was pretty much just like, what's the word when um when you when you act and you're in theater class and you just like you're going with the flow, you just Improv. it. Thank you. Anyways, I'm gonna. Improv, it was just improving. We had a basic script and we just, yeah, I built a full set, it was super cool. So I wanna thank everybody for watching Shelf Review. That's it, there's some other things around, they're not really worth mentioning. Um, now enjoy some footage from the long forgotten and never before seen Salami Brothers video. I love you guys, I'll catch you next time. And um, ah! You know I brought a couple of lads around, right? You brought, you brought, uh, yeah, you told me you're bringing a couple of your little Goombas. I, uh, one of them's named like, uh, like Sidewalk. The other one's like Fiona or some, like, calamari that shit. That sounds awful. I think, I mean, you want me to bring him in? Yeah, bring him in. Bring him in. Go get him. Come here, yeah. Sidewalk Slim. Sidewalk Slim. Slim. Oh, yeah. I haven't heard shit about you. I haven't heard shit about you. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. And this, this is one of the best f***ing yeah, I ever yeah, met. Yeah, damn right. What? Your name? My fucking name. You don't know my name already. This guy even told you. What's your name? Hey, he it's... didn't tell you. What would you say my name was? Uh, Fiona? Nah. Yeah, let him get the seat. Let him get the seat. Come on, get the seat. Get Rio the Calamari, you son of a bitch. Uh, okay. The so we Frito got Calamari. A Frito's Calamari. Yeah, goddamn right. Wait, 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 wait. Calamari. Frito Calamari. That's right. A good man's and chick. Nice to fucking meet, meet you, pal. Nice to meet Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for hosting this event. Of course, I'm excited. I'm excited to have you. Yeah, I met, I met them back at Linden B Elementary like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, what did you guys do when you were kids? 
Nah, I met up with a couple girls. He saw me picking them up, man. No, we went. I met him running a train on a girl. All right, he was a, he was the conductor. I was then head charge of the caboose. I don't I, was, I don't think you should be saying that. Right now. Uh, I don't think you could. Uh, I don't think you could say that. <laughs> It was, was a teacher, huh? Yeah, okay. Well, so what's that? And, and then, and then I met this guy down at the bar. He was inside of a f***ing bathroom stall. Let me see you, kid. Let me inside of a here. bathroom stall, taking a piss. But his entire pants was down. I was like, boy, <laughs> why are your pants all the way down on the ground, man? Down to his he said, I'm sidewalk slim. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they call you sidewalk slim, Slim? Uh, well, uh, you see, I was born on a sidewalk, me and my mom's, both of us, actually, the same very tile of sidewalk, to be exact. Really? You know, I really hope you're not my kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, Slim, I've never heard of you, but... We let it rip. Nice it to fucking meet you. And, and here's the thing: they, they're up for the underground Beyblade. They, right? know, they know what we're doing here. They, they know what we're up to. Okay. Well, gentlemen, I'm glad to have met you all. Come to your acquaintance. Thank, but thank you for having us. Oh, thank you for coming. So, I assume you know why we're here today. The only reason I came at all, you mean? Pull them out. Holy shit. This guy loves to fucking throw fucking it around, huh? Jesus, oh, guy. fuck. I dropped the right champ. I, I dropped the soon-to-be champ. Let me see him. Let me take a look at all of them. This is my sweet pearl. Sweet pearl? Is that what you call this one? Yes, sir. That's sweet pearl? Okay. This is my best man. My, my longest-running ally. Nello Yellow. Nello Yellow. I've heard about him in the rings. Is that you? Legend. Crazy. I know the tails a little shorter than they should be. Let me tell you, Mellow Yellow has never lost a fight, and I don't think it's gonna happen today. Whew. Okay, I'm, I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to see it. What do you got today? This one huh? is my secret weapon, baby. Jimmy, I know you've never seen this one before. His name's Green Machine. Green, what the fuck is this? Are you serious? What kind of fancy pantsy shit is this, huh? It's I didn't you worry about it. Just know, if there's somebody that's gonna be rolling the ring, I don't think it's gonna be Mellow Young. I don't, I didn't take you for a Nancy Pantsy Fancy Smancy Rich Boy. Pearl. You just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I call this one. I this really hope you're not my kid. Hey Jimmy, what you got there? You know what I call this? You know what I call this? Red. Is it because of the red? Okay. How'd you know? You're definitely uh, my brother. Yeah, yeah Jimmy! Yeah. Uh, 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 I win the sausage, brother. So pull out your money, gentlemen. What are we playing with today? Oh. What Not do you got? Toys. I got I got a fiver. I got a couple of hundos. I brought the bears around. You know, you, you know your younger brother. You know Johnny. Hey, listen. I emptied Mary's entire savings account for this. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> emptied the whole thing. She's been saving up. Mary's a bitch. Yeah, she needs. Uh, she got this. Uh, the surgery coming up. Something with the leg. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> surgery's not <laughs> happening. <laughs> yeah, come on. Yeah, Jen. I just yeah. brought a day's pay. Just. Six thousand dollars, you know. Yeah. Frito calamari. And hey, the business has been good. Business has been good, but you know this isn't nothing. I'm just just cash to blow for fun. It's totally not my daughter's savings. Oh, I mean, what you want? It's it's not your daughter's savings. It's not. It's hundred percent not. Okay. My daughter's savings. This okay. is a day's pay for Frito calamari. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking got that? Who's up first? Okay. No, Johnny. You know I like to be prepared, so right here, right here, I have a little chalkboard. It's uh, you know, this is gonna be the lineup. So we got Frito versus JS. That, that that's you. That's me. Yeah, that, that's that's okay, you. Well, I mean, yeah, both right. JS. So yeah, but here, actually, uh. 
lowercase j. Because you're my baby brother. Uh, <laughs> you're so cute. Ah, mwah, ah, mwah. <laughs> you my God, baby. I missed you so much. Ah. <laughs> All right, and then we got me versus Slim. Please call me Slim Jim. So. <laughs> Who the f calls you Slim Jim? Slim Jim. Can a brother use a cigar cutter? Yeah, why not, we do <coughs> You're too gracious of a host. Yeah. Next time, would you jerk me off and look me in the eyes rather than looking away at the floor? It really makes me self-conscious. How about, how about this? How about this? If you win tonight, then yes. 100%. I'll do it right here on the table. I'll hold your balls. Dude. He'll, he'll get the balls. You'll hold my balls. I'll hold them and jiggle them. Isn't it? I get it. I get a nice deal from two brothers. The whole package. The whole, whole package, 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 package for two brothers. Right, 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 right. You can get it. No wonder. Yeah. No wonder they call you two the sausage brothers. <laughs> yeah. You don't know why they call us the sausage brothers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna care. Let me check it. And I also bought a match. I came what? a little ill prepared. These matches fucking suck! You gotta use two. You gotta use two. I don't gotta do shit, okay? For all you cavemen out there, fire. Oh my god. Yeah, we get it, pal. You make, you make a lot of money, okay? Hey. It's Calamari's top tier. It's premium. Premium quality calamari. You two are also fated to fight each other. Let's say you two start the first round. Burnt the f out of myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, fine. Fine. This guy against Pearly White? Not a chance. Red. Red is gonna bend Pearly White over and make it say uncle. Your little babe blade's gonna say uncle! No more Let's shit go. talking. No more shit talking. I just want to see action in the ring. All right. That's why I came here. All right. That's All I know here. is that Pearly White's gonna get in the ring with Red, and it's just gonna go. Boy. That's all I hear is. You little baby man. Little baby babe. Tell him, tell him, Johnny. Tell him, Johnny. You really think you got something? That's my right. brother, Jimmy. Tell him. Tell him how it really is. Ain't right, gonna get Jimmy. shit. All right, Jimmy. Oh, okay. You better cry me a river when Pearly White bends your little girl over and f***s her like daddy. <laughs> really? You want to talk like that? You're going to be really upset when Green Machine wipes the floor with you like a f***ing mop. Alright, All right, Mr. Sausage. Okay. How much we staking for this match? Put your money where your mouth is. How much we staking? Huh? How about this? Ready? Two dollars. I say two dollars. Two dollars. What do you raise, Slim? I'm doing three dollars because I ain't no bitch. Oh, really? Three dollars, really? Five dollar pot Five of the match, dollars. huh? All right. Ooh, it's pretty cool. Maybe you can buy yourself a new f***ing shirt. Huh? Seven dollars! Yeah, you like it? It's the stain from the hot dog your wife made me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were in the big leagues, boys. Seven dollars. That's a millisecond play for Frito Calamari. I want something more. <laughs> How about you throw down the finest plate of the finest calamari you got, Mr. Calamari? If we're paying for playing for milliseconds pay, I don't want to play at all. It's a waste of my time. Wait, wait, wait. Mr. Calamari, my wife, terrible, terrible thing that happened. Terrible thing. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. She was hit by a bread truck. She was hit by a bread truck. Okay. Look at me. Look at me in the eyes, okay? She was hit by a f***ing bread truck. No, not a bread, a truck full of bread, but a truck made of f***ing bread. Fuck drives out truck made of bread. Fucked up, right? This is the money that she was gonna use to get new kneecaps because they just fell out. And as soon as they fell out, a golden retriever ran up, grabbed it, f***ing ran away. A golden retriever? Every day I'm not looking for that f***ing dog! That took my wife's kneecaps! You have any idea how hard it is to have a wife with no kneecaps? It's awful! She crawls around everywhere! I come over and she answers the door and she said, Hi, Johnny. All right, boys. We got the pot set up. We got a fat $20. 
a nanosecond pay for Frito Calamari, but you know it's a good size pop for you poor gentlemen. That's right. Now, I hope you don't mind. You know this is your house, Mr. Sausage. I want a referee. It's my favorite job, Mr. Calamari. I would be honored. I would be honored to have you referee. I thank you so much. But let me do my favorite thing. Now, gentlemen, you two. I can't believe this is happening. You two. Don't. I want a clean fight. All right. I want a clean match. Except for, I don't give a f about how clean it is. I just want somebody to win. I want somebody to knock the other fucking opponent out. I'm gonna last put this kid on the fucking floor. Last man standing, best two out of three. You he, got me? He's gonna be scraping his balls off the walls by the time I'm done with him. I want to see blood in the arena. Wait, where's my spinner now? I lost my spinner. Oh, there it is. God damn. Revoice size match. Fuck. Gentlemen, that's why you have some dog shit. You wouldn't happen to have a single can of Axe body spray, would you? Oh. Oh, your brother. What are the sizes, brothers? You think we didn't come unprepared? Yeah, hey, I got one. Oh my god, do care. Uh, you want one? You got one for me, kid? Yeah, I got one. We all got one for everybody. Man. Beautiful, man. Get, get a load of that. Hey, you got, you, you need one juke out? Yeah. There you go. Take right that. Oh, Alright, don't spray too much. I want it to explode. God, I hope it fucking explode. Ah, oh, nothing like a good can of Axe body spray. It really hits a spot. Something refreshing about it. Can't forget the sausage. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, Johnny. <clears throat> No, I That's think disgusting. it's only I think it's only right that the host introduces his Beyblade first. <clears throat> What'd you right. call yours? I think you metal. You called it blue, right? It's time to bring the heat, Jimmy. Mm, 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 mm. Right! <laughs> <laughs> What was yours named? It was named Girl, right? Or Pearl or something? Twirl. My girl, Earl, is kind of like a pearl. Yeah, what was, what's yours called, huh? This is Earl, the blue twirler. <laughs> the stupidest <laughs> f***ing name I've ever heard in my life. All right, cut me down, Calamari. In five, five. Wait, 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 wait. Five. Okay. Yeah, cut, cut. Five. Four, five, three, two, one, go! Let it fucking go! We make it a little spicy in the ring, all right? You gotta make it smell good, all right? And let the Beyblades go. Okay, okay. <laughs> now I'm five, four. Oh shit! Oh, no. <laughs> you broke the Beyblade ring, bro. You broke the fucking ring. Why the fuck did I bring you, Kama fucking Mari? What are you doing? You what are you doing? You mounted the ring, you fucking asshole! Alright, count it down! <laughs> count it down, you fucking prick! In five, five, four, three, two, one, go! You got a backup arena. I got a backup arena. Calamari's always ready. This guy's great. I hey. love this guy. Hey, this guy? I fucking love this guy. Hey, but Calamari ain't ready for what Johnny Sausage has got in the store. See that watch? What the fuck is that? Is that a cycle? 
You know Ben Penn? You know Ben Penn? Alright, I gotta do a f***ing ring. Sorry about Ooh. your old one. Alright, I got a little overzealous. But also, I don't give a f*** about your old ring. Here's the good shit I right here. I've had that ring since I was two. It just, it, yeah. Gotcha. I've had that ring since I was two. I don't give a f*** about your old ring. Alright, it was shit. It looked bad, and it was blue. A red ring, more aggressive. Brings out the anger in the men. Alright? That's the name of my Beyblade. Red. So why'd you have it in blue? Shut the f*** up! Okay. Alright, let go of me. Let go of me. Thank you, thank you. Now that we are a real ring for the final match! Calm me down. Calm me down, Calamore. I'm about to smoke this kid. This winner takes all, alright? Oh, come on! Last round, last round! Three, two, one! Let's go! Oh, fuck. Fuck! That's it! Boom! I'm gonna pass Slim out. Jim is our fucking I'm winner! Gonna, I'm gonna pass... No, no. Oh, Slim Jim! Slim... <laughs> Ow, fuck! Slim Jim! <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I think maybe, maybe, maybe. How does our winner feel, huh? <laughs> you okay? How does our winner feel? Take a puff of this. Big man on campus is having a big puff of a big son. I'm gonna get a new lease. Your wife's new capsule. I'm, I'm, so I'm gonna good. take it. I'm gonna take the competition off. I'll pay for a meet. Don't worry. Hey, hey, Jim, Jim, uh, Jim, Jim, don't worry. You got a brother here, okay? Take I'll your take care. money. Don't take your winner. You don't know what I got Johnny. on my sleeve. You have no clue. You're too good to be Johnny. Don't worry, I mean, she has worry. to get those knees. I'll take care of it, don't worry. She's getting too ripped, her upper body's f***ing stacked, dude. She'll get a couple knees. Her triceps are insane, dude. Bro, I'll give her, I'll, I'll give her like a nose on her forehead or something, bro. I don't know. I love you, Johnny. Don't worry, eh? Hey, mm, 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 mm. Don't worry, we got it, we got it, we got it. You well, look I think a little lady impressed. needs his new knees. She's Mr. Gonna... Jim? Mr. Jim. Earl fought a good battle. As the bed. Not. <laughs> so I guess I'll take my initials. You goddamn right. Is that a picture of your wife? Oh, this? It's uh, this right here. Beautiful lady. No, my friend. This right here is a picture of the baby. Greatest Beyblade. Greatest Beyblade gangster to ever live. See that? I took that picture myself back in the summer of 89. <laughs> and if you look right here, Mr. Calamari, look. Calamari! Look at this. Ready? That's a picture of me. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's a picture of me holding the picture of the baby. Why the fuck? Look at that. I remember the baby. You see that? Now, wait. Ready? Are you ready for this? Boom. That's a picture of me. Take a picture of me holding the picture of the baby. What the f is the matter with yeah. you, man? Yeah. Yeah. What's that last one? No, that's it. There's, no, there's, no, another, no, three. No, there's another one behind it. What are you talking about? Oh my fucking god. Who took that? I didn't take this picture. I could have. Who the fuck? It's a, it's a picture of it's you. A, it's a picture of me taking a picture of me taking a picture of me holding a picture of the baby. I didn't take this. Johnny, I couldn't. I couldn't have taken this. There's no possible way. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Take that picture. Baby. Put it somewhere you'll never see it again. You feel the energy coming off of this? There's some dark energy. Some dark, dark mojo coming off some of this. Some Beyblade type thing. I, Mr. Calamari, I didn't take this picture. There's no way I could take that picture. I don't believe you have a fucking four foot long right arm that bends 90 degrees. So yes, I believe you. Alright, put that picture away somewhere and never look at it again. Okay. Um, <coughs> Broken over here. You alright? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I got your tongue. <laughs> alright, gentlemen. What's so funny, Calamari? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Johnny. That shit. Johnny, what are you doing? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with this? Thought, you, thought you had to. The hell's wrong with you? <laughs> You had to be ready for your you match. All right. You got some schmutz. Some right schmutz. There. So, you yeah. feeling all right? Come on, look it up. Look it up, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take some of this. Take some of this. Here, uh, take a bite of this. Uh, 
feeling all right, brother? <laughs> You'll be fine. You're tough. You're yeah. my you're my kid brother. Okay. You can handle a little bit of body spray to the mouth. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom, sausage boy. <laughs> you're a strong kid. Uh -huh. You're gonna need you're to be good. a strong kid. Get up. You're good. That's right. Once it's I whoop kid. your ass in the ring, you can do you're gonna need this that. kind of support. You can do better than that. That's right. That's why they call you He's a fucking champ. He's a sausage. That's how you know. He's a fucking sausage. I drink in moderation. Yeah, I drink out of your mom's pussy. I took two fucking things. I took two things. My brother. That's my brother. Come on, let's get this tie off you. Oh, oh you just, think? This oh, you out. think yeah. you're fucking <coughs> slick shit? Hey, but take it, rip it off your fucking shirt. <coughs> oh my god, you're disgusting. Don't mind my skin condition, please. I'm very self conscious. What the fuck? All right, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. We have the second first competing bracket. We got Frigo. Calamari! Calamari! Yeah. And then we got my baby brother. The light of my fucking life. The biggest piece Johnny of shit I ever met. Johnny Sausage, you son of a bitch. You're gonna yeah. give him hell. So All right. which, that's a, that's a, that's so a right time to How much we bidding, boys? I'll let you start off the bidding. All right, I'll match you, whatever you bid down. Jesus. You'll match me with whatever I put. Oh, an hour to you is a second to me, pal. This guy lives <laughs> at eight seconds an hour. Eight an hour. Watch this. Three twenties, that's 60. No, no, wait. What the fuck does that mean, three seconds an hour? And I'm off me. Three seconds an hour, this kid's moving at light speed. <laughs> what? That's another hundred. What? 160. 160. What do you got, Calamari? Huh? Oh, wait. 160. No. That's another hundred. That's 260. I'll raise you three. Mr. Calamari. Raise me. $560 in the pot. Jesus, Johnny, where'd you get this kind of cash? Don't worry Sucking about it. Sucking me off. Mama knows where it came from. This is an asshole. He doesn't know shit, but Mama knows. Okay. Don't talk okay. to Mama. Ready? Okay. We got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, sixty. I'll raise you. Fucking sixty. Jim. I'll raise you. That's unheard of, Mr. Calamari. And some of me. Some of calamari skin. Look at that. I'm gonna make it eight hundred and a calamari. Eight. Okay. <laughs> we got eight hundred and a piece of calamari. Gentlemen, I want a dirty, disgusting fight. You two little slime balls. I want you to bow it out in there like you never have before. So I call this one the green machine. Why? Why? <laughs> because he works like a machine. And he's green. Jesus Christ. What a fucking man. Wow. What are you doing? Wait, what was that? What the fuck is going on here? Don't you worry just, about it. Just do. Oh, they, they How about back. you get ready? Put your blade blade up to mine. Slim, I can't ref my own match. Count me down, count us down, all right? I got it, Jimmy, don't you worry. In five, four. Psych, psych. In five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, what you got there, new blood? Something fucking stupid? What the fuck would John? <laughs> Johnny, what the fuck was that? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, oh my god, Charlie. Are you alright? Stop! 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 Get the fuck off me! Get the fuck off! Mellow yellow's under Johnny, Johnny, you, I don't bleeding? know what's going on! I don't know what's going on! Hold on, hold Is on. Is your baby bleeding? I don't know, shot. I don't know. Johnny, I think you've been shot. Oh, I'll what happened? Back. I'll just sit back. Yeah, what's going on, Johnny? Yeah, Jesus Christ, wipe yourself off, Johnny. You're She's leaking, ass. John. Jesus. It's okay, Jesus. don't worry, I, I think I got it. You youngins always trying something new. It's the old methods tried and true that matter most. What's wrong with it, Johnny? I think I got it working, don't worry. Hey, 
You say it's two out of three, right? It's always two out of three. Um, now let's get another one going! All right. But I think, you know what? You think you can come in here? Let's get another one going! Johnny, you take that sausage, brother! Johnny, you got nothing Johnny. on me! Let me talk to him. I'll put down the rest of my fucking cash. We don't play with just cash in the big leagues. Cash means nothing. We play with stuff that matters. I'll raise you something that matters the most to me. The fuck is that? Take a guess. It's this cock. Wait, what's he, wait, what are you doing? Hey, hey, Calamari, what are you? Missed the cock. My cock. <laughs> no way. Mr. Calamari. Mr. You keep it in his sock. He gets you a little. That? He gets cold. Large. Large. He's I raise you my cock. It's a large penis. What okay. do you give me in return? I I tell you what. You see these massive balls? No. Big set. That's a big set, Johnny. You'll take my big That's set. A big of set. Johnny sausage balls. If I lose. Yeah. That. <laughs> Can't wait to put them on my wall. <laughs> he don't know what's coming. <laughs> All right, oh, gentlemen. Try to make sure you things work and you got it. No more fucking small talk. No more pussy. All right, right Jim. All right, get ready. Are you ready? Maybe Eight, five, four, three, two, one. Let it rip. What Jesus, is this? What the oh fuck my is God! This? You're leaking. You're leaking, Holy Johnny. Jo Wait. Yeah. You know Jesus what? I think that's coming from your fucking he stupid. He caught a piece of shit from, from Mellow Yellow. I beat it so bad, the shrapnel shot me in the chest. I started bleeding, buddy. I started bleeding. Guess right. what? I'm going to do it again. All right, Johnny. Are you ready? We got to do one more round. I don't. Are you ready? I don't know about the oh, no, round thing. Anymore. That's two out of three, pal. Okay, uh, where's the other, the other pieces? Uh, the pieces on the floor over there. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jesus fuck Christ. <laughs> Mr. Calamari, have you put back together your Beyblade? Mel Yellow's never lost before. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should have showed him, Johnny. Doesn't mean it's impossible to win again. All right, gentlemen. In five, four, three, two, one, let it rip. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Sausage! Takes the fing crowd! Look at it, it's still good! It's still fing going! And then your head stop it! Yeah! 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 That's the fucking sausage family tree for you! Look at these nuts! Look at them! Jesus Christ, Johnny! Uh, uh, the Johnny! Yeah, yeah that's, that's right, the, Johnny. The, the Jimmy! Yeah. <laughs> Our father, our father would be so fucking proud of you, you know that? He'd be so proud. He'd be so proud of you. The mellow yellow fucking explode in the ring! Mr. Yeah. Mellow Yellow must have match. Hey, I, I hope you took the time. We can put it on his fucking tombstone. Holy shit, this guy actually pissed his pants. All these dollar Wait, bills. <laughs> look at this guy, he pissed his pants. And let's point at this guy and laugh. <laughs> He pissed his pants. <laughs> 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 hey, actually pissed his pants. <laughs> 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 and I took your money. Hey, <laughs> hey, how about this, guys? How about how about this? Okay, I think we could use some food. I got us a pizza. That's right. <laughs> pizza time. It's pizza time, boys. No, the yellow's never lost. Ah, uh, yeah. Fucking save it, pal. Mr. Calamari, a slice of pizza. There you go. It's my favorite pizza. <laughs> Eat that. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Calamari, take a bite. <laughs> You two are the winners. That's the final round, gentlemen. You two have to face oh. off. 
This kid's covered in fucking Kool-Aid. The fuck am I supposed to do with this guy? Yeah, you know thing. what? I think hey. that's blood. I think that's now, guess blood. what? Wait, guess what here? Taco Bell? Yes, yeah, blood. Two. Put that on. Put that on, pal. I see it's covered in our lucky banana sauce. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's it. Yep, that's a that's banana sauce. Okay. Look at this fucking troglodyte. <laughs> Smell that? No, I don't. I don't smell that. Give me that. I smell it. Yeah. Yeah. Give me some Mr. Calamari. Grease me up, Mr. Sausage. We do things a little bit different, differently around here, okay? I don't know if you've heard of it. It's a sausage bowl. You know what a sausage bowl is, Slim? Sounds delicious. Yeah. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Sounds savory. Maybe a little bit sweet. Like a maybe. sausage. Yeah. Yeah, this guy knows what's up. For the final round. The arena. <clears throat> this is the sausage bowl, gentlemen. Now, let me explain the rules to you about the sausage bowl. The sausage bowl takes the winners. And the sausage bowl is a 1v1, one match only. You got that? Go f*** yourself. It barred! Johnny, Johnny. Jesus Christ, Johnny! Are you okay? Johnny! Johnny! Stay with me! Stay with me, Johnny! Fuck! Johnny. You, you alright, Johnny? Stay with me, pal. Here, take your fingers off the axe body spray. Fucking Christ, Johnny! Get away from me! Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really big J. That is a really, that is a really big J. Listen, Johnny. Hey, did you have fun tonight? Yeah, I didn't either. I, I'm able to pay for your wife's kneecaps. That's about all I got. <laughs> uh -oh. 